dividing by non-unit fractions. Um, a non-unit fraction is a fraction where the numerator is not one. Um, so for example, two thirds is a non-unit fraction. Um, Elena was now figuring out the value of six divided by two thirds. She started drawing a tape diagram for six divided by one third and then said, the answer is gonna is just gonna be half of my answer for six divided by one third. Uh, I'm gonna remind you that in our last um, in our last video, in the previous part of this problem, we learned that six divided by one third equals 18. Um, so if I did Elena's way, the answer is going to be half of my answer for six divided by one third. So Elena's way would give me, I'm going to try a smaller, okay. Elena's way is going to be six divided by two thirds, oops, six divided by two thirds should be half of that should be nine. All right, let's see if we can find that. So six divided by two thirds, there's, there's one third, I'm sorry, one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, each group is two thirds, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups, nine groups. Um, so I see here that there are nine groups of two thirds in six. So I agree. Um, also two thirds multiplied by nine is six. Um, you can think about it either way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do slides nine, 10, 13, and 14 for this video. So that's nine, here's 10. Six divided by one fourth. How can you find the value of six divided by three fourths? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm not gonna type in my answer. I'm just gonna say it. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out um, six divided by one fourth. I know the value of six divided by one fourth. Six divided by one fourth um, is the same thing as six times four, which is 24. Um, so six divided by three fourths is gonna be one third of that. which is gonna be eight. Okay, and we can go through and double check ourselves. So three fourths, one, two, so there's three fourths, that's one group. One, two, three, that's two groups. One, two, three, that's four groups. One, two, three, that's, wait, I can't count. Let's start over. That's one group. Uh, one, two, three, four, so that's two groups. One, two, three, four, so that's three groups. Four groups. Five groups. Six groups. Seven groups. Eight groups. Um, so the value of six divided by three fourths is eight, uh, which also makes sense because eight times three fourths, remember eight over one times three fourths. Um, and you can find ones in here, eight and four. If we divide them both by four, I get eight divided by four is two, four divided by four is one. And if I multiply two times three is six, one times one is one, so eight times three fourths is six. Um, eight times three fourths is six, six divided by three fourths is eight. Um, slide 13, um, slide 11 is another, it's similar. Slide 12, you're gonna do again the same thing. Um, slide 13, six divided by three fourths. We just did this, we figured out the answer is eight. Um, so if you look at six divided by three and then times four, um, that one works because six divided by three is two, two times four is eight, so that has the same value. 
Um, you can also do this one. 6 times 4 is 24, divided by 3 is 8. Um, and, oh, it doesn't let me do both. Well, they're both right. Um, you could choose this one. You could choose that one. They're both correct. Um, that's interesting. Um, and then slide 14. Uh, if 8 divided by 4 is 32, 8 divided by 3 fourths is 32 thirds, which is the same thing as 10 and 2 thirds. Equals, where's my equals? Equals 10 and 2 thirds. Although you can do 82, 32 thirds is fine. Um, 12 divided by 1 fifth is 60. 12 divided by 3 fifths is going to be 60. Um, I've got 60 total pieces. I need groups of 3 is going to be 60. That's going to be 20. A divided by a half is going to be 2A. Whatever that value is, divided by half, I have double. Um, a divided by three halves, and it's going to be two A, because that was my answer for A divided by a half. Um, but then I need to split that into groups of three, so it's two A divided by three. Um, A divided by one over B is going to be A times B. A divided by five over B is going to be A times B, but then I need to divide that answer into five because I'm making groups of five. Um, a divided by 1 over b is still a b. a divided by c over b, um, it's going to be a times b, oops, a times b, but then I'm going to divide that answer by c. Um, so what this, what, what these generalizations are doing, the ones with the letters, um, a, b, and c represent any positive number. So if you have a whole number and you're dividing it by the fraction c over b, you're going to multiply the whole number times the denominator and then divide that answer by the numerator. Um, and that was slide 14. Um, we will continue to work on this um, later this week. So if this is feeling a little weird to you, um, that's okay, because we'll get there. Um, and thanks for listening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.